What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ back with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to talk about the rumours and speculation about a third subclass coming to each character. Uh, this is basically a rumoured statement basically dropped from a guy who basically tested the DLC which is coming out in December called the Dark Below. He talked about a third subclass for each character, the Titan, Warlock and Hunter and also talked about a new raid but we'll talk about the raid on a separate video. This is all about the actual subclasses. I mean I've been so hyped for a third subclass for such a long time. Um, if they do actually do this it will be amazing. Don't forget guys this is not factual. This is all rumours and speculation. Nothing has been confirmed. But before we get into this can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy Daily Destiny content make sure you subscribe. Also if you could help me out with a like I do appreciate the support. If you guys want to check out the actual full statement I will link it at the top of that video description so you guys can do so. But let's just get into this and let's start with the Titan and its actual first subclass is called Crusader. Its super is called Purge. You shoot this giant horizontal column of light directly in front of you. Upgrades can thicken the cylinder, have the column shoot through walls or shoot a second column behind you. The default size of this is the size of a Guardian. The upgrade is about a 200% size increase. Now grenades, the first one throws three small fire grenades at once. Think like a very small version of the Warlock Void Special. Second, grenades drop behind the Guardian designed for escape tactics when being chased. The third, self-planted grenade, button activates grenade for 8 seconds. Any melee damage taken at the time sets off grenade, but barely doesn't kill a Guardian by itself. Moving on to the Warlock. And its actual third subclass is called Arc Thrower. Its super, which sounds absolutely badass, is called Jupiter's Storm. Creates an orb about the size of a servitor, slightly above and in front of you. The orb floats in the air and shoots lightning out at anything that comes near it. Upgrades can increase range, can cause chain lightning, or cause the orb to spawn further away from the player character. Moving on to the grenades, the first one is arc grenade that detonates on a second button input. The second grenade transfers health to the warlock, which seems a little overpowered. Uh, and the third is called fence grenade, creates a small electrified fence, sticks to walls like the titan's lightning grenade, and lasts about half as long. Moving on to the Hunter, and its third subclass is called Trapper. Its super is called Void Well. Drops a Void Well on the floor. Enemies inside the Void Well cannot jump and have reduced movement speed. Upgrades can reduce all enemy movement, prevent enemies from using abilities, or increase radius of the Void Well. Grenades. The first one is a generic void damage grenade. Doesn't bounce and sticks to any surface. The second is bolus that acts as a sticky but do minimal damage while greatly reducing target's movement speed and prevents them from jumping. The third is called caltrops. Throw them on the ground. Stepping on one detonates it for a small amount of damage. One grenade can kill a guardian with a little left over. So I'm guessing you can throw more than one at the same time. So that is it guys, that is all the rumours we know so far about a third subclass coming to each character from the so called tester who actually tested the Dark Below expansion DLC which is supposedly coming in December. This is all he mentioned and if you guys want to read his actual statement it is at the top of that video description via a link so check it out. But what do you guys actually think about these? I mean they do sound pretty legit but I mean anyone can make up a great story you just never know. Hopefully though, although this is not factual and this hasn't been confirmed, these do pull out because a third subclass would be amazing and will keep the game that little bit more fresher to actually go through and level up a third subclass will be something I really enjoy doing. But what do you guys think? What do you guys actually think about these subclasses and their grenades and supers etc etc? Let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. Also, if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy daily Destiny content, make sure you subscribe. Thanks as always though for watching guys and peace out till next time. Peace!